they newly take the crit all? I think they had it the whole time. Um, no dodge, no poison, no shield, no wound. Let's try Jungle Prophet. We're done with good rage branches again, but... Yeah, guys, eight days till the bazaar. It's almost here. Soon. Soon. Also, I still need three uh, friend referrals. <laughs> I'm just gonna, just gonna plug this again. I gotta get that uh, cosmetic. What? Fuck you too, Ogre. It's bizarre. It's a new auto battler coming out with pretty high production quality. It's been in development for five, six years. <laughs> I heard about this art. Last night was crazy. There were like three people that came in and asked if I had heard about the game. Despite practically every stream, I'm mentioning it in some way. I think we're taking fairy energy, but I'm not going to drop interest. So you have to be over 16 to sign up. Really? That's surprising. I guess you need to be over 16 to sign up. What do we got here? Yeah, we're taking Fury Energy. Energy cost is okay, but... We can't really rely on Fury for damage unless we max out the, uh, the thing, the rare thing, the thingy thing. <laughs> Star Emerald, lonely. I also didn't. I thought it was. I expected like 13 and up for a website. Didn't think it was going to be 16. Just be over 16. Yeah. Does not affect 98% of my viewers. According to my YouTube metrics. Um, I'll take a Persistent Freeze. Fury Freeze versus Fury Attack is kind of interesting. This is kind of damage. Yeah, sure. Regular Sprite. 300. An additional skill from a specified branch every three rounds. Eh, I'm pretty happy with shelf. That one's not bad. We can take healing ultimates to go with the fury energy generation. Take ult control. Take attack boost. Fury energy. Other attack boost.
This could just be like Fury Vanguard attack. Maybe not with Blade Master in the lobby, but <laughs> against everybody else, maybe. Gold boxing. Let's get that for now. Sprite life more than regen control. Give me the base rage. This is multiple branches that matter. That level is more impactful. Ooh. First period release. <laughs> the sun, yeah. What a game Outer Wilds was. What a game. They are not actually at 18 because they are weak. They are at 18 because they have lost 10 life to Sacrifice Pendant. That explains a lot. So I think they're going for the Vanguard attack theory stuff. We just control here. We did die with our Sprite alive last fight. We don't have multiple Sprites. I think we're just taking attack share. But yeah, no rush. I'm not going to spend on their interest to try to win fights when we've got battle supply chests. That's, uh, the healing attack to the level. There's our Vanguard attack. Should be harder to find those than those. We also got a lot of base attack anyway. I have no HP skills yet. <laughs> I think it's the latest I've ever gone without buying any HP branch skills. Strange. Item tier list. It's a little outdated. Probably a few things that I would have changed here. But, uh. Yeah, like, Truth Stone's way too low. We've been playing very differently since the, uh, since we made that list, too. Yeah, like, I think if you're going tall on a couple branches, this tier list is mostly accurate. But if you're going more wide, some of the stuff changes a lot. We've been going way more wide recently. I think it's probably the better way to play the game. Don't need another one of those. Give me some gold. It's kind of gold. I don't think we need Tome. Tome would get us to Rage 40 easier. But, uh, just give me stuff. Fury release, charge damage, death burial. Cool. Hmm. 
No, Cog's still... Cog's still in the dumpster. I think the big ones that are different are... I would move Truthstone up. I think I would move Pirate Hat up, too. Uh, probably move Anchor down. Hood down. Uh, probably random pack to see. Compass to see. Like all the treasures I put in trash, I still put in the trash. Divine Rod first pickable. Yep. She'll download a launcher to play a card game. Is that really a deal breaker for people? I don't know. Do you think the freeze or take forget pain? I would think that this reduces more damage. I have no HP skills. <laughs> I'm taking the uplifting. Max out the Vanguard attack. Healing. I might need healing disruption. Which is Arcs of the Creator. Uh, I've nothing seriously against Reyna. It's so whatever. Not like a huge fan or anything. If the game's good, the game's good. Um, not that many crit skills. My sprite alive. Call guard. First call guard. Blazing Fury is huge. I don't want to drop interest though. I mean, it's. I think it's better than gold chest, and I don't hate gold chest. I think it's like 50 less gold than gold chest, but you get it all up front, which you can use to leverage into winning. Do I good draft the game? Hunch is going to be a massive ripoff? I don't know. Nothing that I've seen about it seems to indicate that it will be. A lot of fireballs. First HP rage. Fury crit. No, I don't think so. Oh, my dashboard says it never went down. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, nope, there we go. <laughs> it reset. Uh... Gold chest in the treasure that gives a lot of gold can be designated level way more than contract. Uh, I disagree. I think if I'm between contract and gold chest, I'm always taking contract. It's only a little bit less gold, and if you win a fight because you took contract, it's worth it. If you win two fights, super worth it. Exile Blade is your treasure. Yeah, I do not. It's not tempo. I mean, it gives you a little bit of gold, but it's what, like 100 gold as treasure one? I wouldn't really call that tempo. One fifty, sure. Ow. Kind of live in a third world country, so these unlocalized free to play games are just sad. What do you mean? I don't know what the connection is. It's huge tempo on turn one. Uh, yeah, I mean, it gets you another interest point. It's not nothing, but I mean, there's better treasures. I'd rather just take any of the other treasures that give gold. It's not even close. Like, Pocket Watch gives you 100 gold and improves your shops for the rest of the game. Would much rather have that than just do three more damage when I win a fight. Yeah, sure, fair enough. Hey, we wanna fight. <laughs> Let's go. Not losing to the Healy Blade Master this time. Oh, sure, sure. I mean, it just depends how much you how much it wants you to pay. I don't know. As long as the game is like, playable free-to-play. I don't usually care too much how the, uh, how aggressive the monetization is on the non-gameplay stuff. But yeah, for, like, a game like this where it kind of wants you to pay just to get access to everything, I could see how that would feel bad. Uh, I think we need that... Contract brings and the other two gold treasures don't have much fair likelihood of gaining win gold, win streak gold. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Run away from ultimate level. Get that maxed out. Take the alt level. I do want to get this to 40. Oh, hey, fearless combo. That's pretty cool. It's going to barely go infinite on the draft system. Well, the way the draft system works is even if you don't go infinite, that just means you have to play unranked. It's not like you can't play the game and get back into ranked if you're not playing ranked. And it's not like if you want to play Hearthstone Arena and you don't have gold that you can't play Arena. It's just the difference is you won't earn the same rewards for unranked as ranked. It just gets you the entry tickets for ranked. I don't know, I, I don't hate that system. I feel like making the ranked runs feel meaningful because you have to earn them. Mr. 
Mr. Ogre. Okay. <laughs> what was that? There were like 30 fireballs. Yeah, it's not that I take contract a lot, but I respect contract. Play your standard, play fully constructed deck for Hearthstone. Yeah, I mean, I get that. That's what I'm saying. It's like not the same as in Hearthstone, where if you only want to play Arena, you can't only play Arena. Here, you're still playing the same game, whether you're playing ranked or unranked. Phase of contract is best. Uh, yeah, probably one. I've taken it on ten, and it's been okay. Sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. Chill, Ogre. Chill. <laughs> the best hero in the game. Okay, no more Quint Fireballs that crit. Game. Frenzy. Doing okay. I'm not losing to Ogre. I might be. I might be. So that's fine. They have armor? Oh my god. Um... Length, I guess. You got me. You got me. Pain. What do they have? Get all the ultimate stuff. They had what? Three ultimates? Three mythics, I think. Yeah, there's enough damage. Any rolls from the VIP stuff? Uh, not many. Less than 30 used. Healed 32. How much did we heal? 18. Alright, a couple heroes that would like the tempo contract gives the most. I have no idea. Uh, we got. No base attack, no ult, no freeze, no sprite. Um, so what, it's just rage, poison wound, 
both of these are reasonable. Let's do Royal Knight. I think I like Royal Knight a bit more. <laughs> we could go for the turn one loot chest again. Yeah. Didn't quite work out last game. Okay. This is... There's no Rage Mage in the lobby. There's no Rage Mage and three dodge heroes. What? Pretty sure it's taking three dodge. I think she'll dodge. Probably just cool interesting next turn with the persistent venom. We are raging. Yeah. Tends to be pretty good in these lobbies. They got a guardian armor. Their hidden blade won the first fight. Everyone has bought something too. Oh my! They're goblin parting. They're goblin parting. Oh wait, but they bought things. Oh wait, is this a bot? I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be another zero gold goblin part. It might be. And the also building dodge. Get a shield strike. Look at those a little bit more. We don't need an antidote now. We are long term going to want antidotes. I'm pretty sure the only thing that is going to beat us late is someone else going fury poison. think. But I don't think I want it yet. Like the tenacious life. Take the damage, take the base shield. Pretty, pretty good. If we're going for shield smashes. Having a bunch of crit is a big damage spike for that. Not great if everyone is dodge, but if everyone is dodge, people probably don't have the dodge boosts. yet. They're fine, but I really want to find the wound and shield skills. I care more about getting shield rares right now. The fury poison. Oh. 
They have not actually been losing. That's it seems a bit nonsense to take that on Hidden Blade, but okay. I'll take this now. Use HP shield. I'll take another Fury Dodge. What a healing. Healing is top branch. Like, it's long term good for me, but I probably don't beat the healing boards until we start getting into rage or we find a couple of shield strikes. Shield smashes. Think so. I should take this. Weak for another turn. Could take HP boost. Shield crit acquired. It's a defense mastery. Not the rare I'm looking for, but it's a rare. Conjure boost so they can't. Yeah, I don't know. Poison shield kind of do it work. Not healing dodge levels of work, but work. We get Fury really soon. Uh, not getting the damage we need. What poison coat is that? This is a maxed poison coat. Ew. What? I don't know, I guess we gotta... There's some damage. Not enough damage. If I had more life, I'd feel a lot better about picking this. Still picking it with insurance policy battle supply chests, but yikes. Good. 
need one more Fury Poison. Isn't Code good here? Yeah, better than Persistent. Yeah, there's my Shield Smash. Not sure exactly how I feel about Shield Smash into all the dodge boards, but I need damage. I just need damage. I'm just gonna random here. Mastery value too. Whoa, okay. We did get it. That gets us to rage twenty four to I think we're pretty strong now. We got damage that goes through dodge. They've used their full Haven badge. They are gone. <laughs> what, are, what did I just look at? What is that? What are those treasures? Hold up. I, we're going back in a second. Uh. Oh, nice. Want that pretty bad. So. They have a Sacrifice Pendant, which is pretty big anti-synergy with Masterful Escape. They took Haven Badge to make up for the Sacrifice Pendant. Okay. Saved them 18 HP. And then they took Soul Elixir when they're a couple fights away from dying. <laughs> like, I guess you gotta do something, but man, that is... Ugh. Mm -hmm. Shield the ultimate. Greatest player. It's just... It's just like the worst spot for all of these things. I can't imagine a worse hero for Sacrifice Pendo. Haven Badge made sense, I guess. But Haven Badge on 2 is so sad. He's not even saving that much life out of it. Because damage is lower on 5 than it is on 10. And then Soul Elixir when you're dying is not when you want to be taking Soul Elixir. Um. Hmm. Not a shield or robustness. This gets me the level now, guaranteed. Sometimes lucky. Pretty sure Shackles was big enough. 
against everybody. I could click on all of them to see how much dodge they have, but I think they've got enough dodge that I want the shackles. Not that all of our damage comes from, like, dodgeable things, but I would like to not trigger poison healing or, or healing dodge or healing or dodge poison. There we go. Defense Ooh, Scary Burst Build. Levels there. Hmm. It's probably nice into the panda if they're doing anything with therapy rays. They don't have max fury poison yet. Oh, I have zero fury wounds. <laughs> We're probably about even on fury damage. More fury generation. Cool. Board's gonna have a hard time beating us. I don't know how they break through the final defense. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. else um poison burst would be cool seventy dodge would help us feel safer uh would it I think another uh poison antidote is a bigger deal. I mean, Energy Collector gives a ton of XP. The scary part about taking Energy Collector was if we just died in the next couple turns, it would have looked pretty silly, but... We did not die in the next couple turns, and then it popped off. <laughs> 